In this video, we will talk about basophil and its role in immunity. Basophil const constitute the minority of the circulating leukocytes. In circulation, we would find basophil which constitute 1% of the total leukocyte, whereas neutrophil con constitute more than 50% of the leukocytes. Basophils are generated in the bone marrow. Everything starts from the hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell which ultimately give rise to the myeloid progenitor and the myeloid progenitor ultimately give rise to the basophil. Once generated in the bone marrow, it gets secreted into the bloodstream. Basophils are non-phagocytotic granules and it contains several basophilic granules which are stained bluish or purplish in the H&E staining. Basophils are relatively rare but they are very potent in terms of their action. Basophils are mostly important for their response against parasites such as helminths. This is how the basophil look like in a microscope, in a blood smear. We can see all the granules in, in these, as these uh, pink, uh, 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 as these violet dots and it kind of obscured the nuclear view. There are a lot of surface receptors present in the basophil which broadly fall into the category of cytokine receptors, complement receptors and chemokine receptors. Question is how basophils can get activated. There are many ways such as IgE cross-linking, B-cell superantigen mediated activation, complement fragment mediated activation, chemokine mediated activation or lipid mediators like prostaglandins can also activate basophils. Once activated, they are known as activated basophils. So these activated basophils secrete several molecules. Among the molecules which are secreted, most important are heparin, histamine, 5-HT, eosinophil chemotactic factor, major basic protein tryptase, chondroitin sulfate, CLP, and several interleukins such as IL-3, 4, and 13. One of the major role of basophil is to drive the differentiation of Th0 cells into Th2 cells. Basophil secreted IL-4 actually leads to this differentiation process. Basophil also secretes histamine. Now histamine acts on the capillary endothelial cells lead to a vasodilation. It also secretes heparin which can prevent blood clotting. Now basophils are associated with several diseases like allergic disease, there could be autoimmune disease or even cancer. Allergic diseases like atopic dermatitis, asthma, contact dermatitis, hypersensitivity all in involves activity of basophil. Basophils are also associated with bolus pemphrigoid, then Crohn's disease, graft rejection and lupus nephritis. It can also be associated with cancer such as acute and chronic myeloid leukemia. Now, basophil number increase is known as basophilia, whereas a decrease in number is known as basopenia. Basophilia is abnormally high level of basophil in the blood and it could be associated with several pathological situations such as uh, myeloproliferative diseases like uh, CML, there could be other uh, uh, myeloplastic syndromes, there could be inflammation which lead to an increase in basophils such as IBD, ulcerative colitis, etc. There are many allergies which lead to increase in basophil number. So, basophil number has to be correlated with the clinical situation. Basopenia means deficiency in basophil or decrease in basophil number. It has been indicated as a sign of ovulation. Anyway, there could be other reasons such as hereditary cost, elevated level of glucocorticoids, drug-induced reaction or many others like anaphylaxis. So, this is how normal basophil look like and this is how too many basophils look like in a slide when there is basophilia. So as per summary, we looked at what are basophils and we found that they are a minority of the leukocytes. They contain large granules which are basophilic in nature. Basophils are important for their responses against helminths. We also look at how basophil took part in immunity and how they drive the differentiation of Th2 sublineage. And lastly, we looked at basophilia and basopenia and how basophil levels correlates with several disease pathology. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. 
you can get more notes flashcards etc in my facebook page and also in my instagram page all the links are provided in the description you can support our channel in patreon or bhim upi also there is a super thanks button just below the video you can click on the super thanks and pay using paytm paypal upi or many other payment option internet bankings for say you can connect to me via social media using all the social media links which are provided in the description you can follow the nerd medic channel for exclusive medical related contents and mnemonics all the social media links are given as that in the description as well if you have a suggestion don't forget to let us know in the comment thank you